Let's dive right in. This is the walkthrough video of the free carbon nanotube and boron nitride nanotube asset that I have released on Gumroad. The link is in the description. And we're going to quickly go through this. Now, very simply, similar to the graphene model, this is essentially the carbon nanotube. We also have an option for a boron nitride one here, organized nicely into a collection, and we can very quickly visualize that. You can see the only difference being alternating atoms. And as before, for the boron or for the sheets rather, you can simply select each atom and see how each of these is assigned. Everything is given a very clearly labeled material, and all the modifiers are set up appropriately. So let's dive into the carbon nanotube model in a little bit more detail. Come to the modifier properties. If you tab, you can see that this is, or if you rather select it and then tab into edit mode, you can simply see that this is a very simple tube. There is a simple deform to twist everything into the right direction. There is an array modifier that is by default not visible in the render or the viewport. That will extend this in the vertical direction. We have a wireframe to achieve this nice effect. Bevel, again, not enabled in the viewport just to have everything run a little bit smoother, but it is enabled by default in the render. And then again, a particle system labeled appropriately with the exact number of atoms needed. Now, there are two things that I really want to touch on here, and one is just using these and extending them around curves. And then the other one is actually just changing the array modifier. So very simply, and this applies for all the boron nitride stuff as well. If you want to extend the array modifier, what you'll notice is not every point has a atom anymore. That's because when you update the array, you have to multiply the number for the particles by the count of the array. So very simply, if I wanted to use two segments on the array, I would multiply this by two. And now each point will have a atom. I actually want to multiply it by three because I'm going to showcase that using a curve. So we're going to have three segments. And now very simply, this is how I would set this up. It does not come default with the file, but it is how I would set it up. So shift A, add in a very, very simple Bezier curve, keep it in the default plane, and I'm just going to scale it out on the X direction, right click to subdivide it, grab this middle point and just hit G and Y and drag it out there. And then I'll grab this point and drag this little corner right here down in that direction as well. So we have this nice sweeping curve. So if you wanted to curve this around an object, which is common in these carbon nanotube graphics, simply come to the modifier properties, add a curve modifier, and you want to place it pretty much right here under the array and above the particle system. Then grab your curve object and change the deform axis to Z. You can see now if I were to just move this along, so I have it selected and if I hit G and Z, so I am actually moving in Z, that's just the direction that the curve is working in, then you can see I can actually move it along this tube. And if I want to have a larger number of segments, so zooming in here, all you have to do is update the array appropriately and match the particle system count as well. So this is with three segments, we already updated the particles, everything is in place, and that is how you would get it to follow this nice curve. And then you could set it up however you fancied. As with all the other free models, again, change the materials however you want. The render settings are by default set up for EV, so ambient occlusion enabled, screen space reflections, etc., etc. All that is pretty much good to go out of the box. The same is true for the boron nitride nanotubes, though they are not visible by default, you can simply enable them after the fact or use them and apply all these similar modifiers or changes as you like. So with that, thanks for coming out. If this is something that you find useful, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues so that others can make use of these free assets as well. And until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.